Hey, and we're back right where we were. We got Ashley on our team now. I guess we could level her up. Uh, probably should have just done that in the last episode. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Ashley, what should we what should we do for you? Salt training. Salt training's pretty nice. Just levels everything up. Cool. All right. Um. So also, I turned up the game's audio a little bit. I I was just reviewing the last couple episodes I recorded, and I was like, eh, I think the game audio could be a little bit louder so you can hear the voices better. We'll see how it works out. Armor-piercing rounds. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And hammerhead rounds. Those are both nice. All right, we'll go there in a second. Oh, scorpion armor! Oh, that's already an upgrade. Scorpion armor's way better. So, this is where we, like, equip different guns and stuff. But we got scorpion armor. Man, look at that improvement. That's seven more damage protection and like 40 more shields and that, ah, that's good armor. All right, cool. We are Scorpion Picard Jeopard. Yeah, all right. Caden now already have the same armor as me and Ashley wields medium armor, so I'm the only one who could use it anyway. Um, unless I wanted to give it to Caden, I guess, but I wanted to give it to me. Um, I thought there were enemies. I we'll think there are enemies. We'll just saddle down this rock. Maybe there's no enemies. Like, sure, giving us a lot of cover for no enemies. Nope, there's enemies. All right. Uh, power wheel. Uh, sabotage. Wow. Um, maybe I'll try to show off the sniper rifle. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, gun wheel. Avenger. So this is why the sniper rifle is not that great in the original Mass Effect. I'm not pressing any buttons right now. It's just doing this weird wave thing all on its own. And it makes it really, really hard to shoot. So it's to simulate like breathing and be realistic and stuff. Like, cool. But it makes it pretty unusable until you've like leveled up your sniper rifle ability. So I'm probably not going to use it for a while, but then I, I will be using it. Bam, 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 bam. Shoot, shoot, death, death. Ha, 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 ha. Alright. Oh, hey! Good job! I think it was Caden. Good job, Caden. Uh, oh, the dig site. We should probably investigate it after we open this crate. Oh, hey! Oh, that's an Avenger. That's an assault rifle. Oh, I thought it was a new... Uh, I thought it was, I got a new uh, sniper rifle already. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Oh, but we're saving. Okay. Alright, let's go. So, uh, oh! Oh. What's up, Nihilus? Okay, cool. We'll meet up with Nihilus in a little bit. Um, oh, I was also going to mention what the Geth are. The Geth are a reclusive, uh, uh, robotic alien race. They're, they're robots. They're, uh, AIs. And, um, they've just kind of been in hiding, and now it suddenly it turns out Geth are evil and killing us. So we got to go take care of them. Looks like they hit the camp. Oh, uh, shoot. Camp. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> what is that? still alive no they're not they're not alive anymore ah yep they're actually like technologically reanimated corpses i guess you could say a variant of a zombie oh god go away go away go away jesus this first husk that you fight is actually always like like the toughest husk in the whole game so cool we've already fought the toughest husk yay are all the husks dead they sure are. Wow, we actually got hurt pretty badly. Um, I guess I'll use a little bit of Metagel. Wow! Healed. Then it has to recharge like any other power. Metagel. It's just gel that works on everything. That's pretty convenient. There's some really big conveniences in here. Oh, we got Quarian armor? How ah, weird. Quarians are an alien race. Uh, I guess cat's out of the bag that we get a Quarian in our team. Uh... Not that that means anything to anyone watching right now, probably. Okay, how's this? Ooh, we got some better armor for Ashley here. 
I mean, it has less, but like, tech biotic protection, but she's a soldier anyway, so that won't matter too much. Bam! Whoa. We went from pink to orange. I'd say that's an improvement. I'd say that's an improvement! All right. Um, Ashley. Ashley, get, get out. Ashley, go, go over there. Okay. Uh, is this the way we're supposed to go? Maybe. But, we're gonna check out this camp first. Um, ooh. Ooh, crate! Oh, we got some turret armor! And a new shotgun. And, oh, Omnigel! That was the other thing. Besides Metagel, this gel that you apply and heals anything, you have Omnigel! Which apparently allows you to hack at anything. Like, like this door. We could use Omnigel to open it, or, since we are an engineer, we can manually override it. I just have to play a little mini game. All right, cool. And that's what every single one in this game is like. Oh, and we leveled up. Wonderful. But before we assign points, we're going to talk here because we might get some paragon points. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? <coughs> it was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Manuel! When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. So Ashley is saved. the only survivor of the platoon. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Don't be such a drama queen. We battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. Yeah, we already know Manuel's crazy. I mean, what was that he said? Turian being evil, Nihilus being evil. <laughs> Poppycock. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Go. Um, let's see if we can level some stuff up. Aw, oh, I still don't have any more charm. Give me more charm. More charm, more charm. La la la. Nah, I'm gonna save my points for now. Uh, Kaden, I guess we'll give you more throw. I want to, I mean, ultimately, I want to save so you can get lift. Williams! Yeah, I'm just giving a little more salt draping and weight. I hope I have enough charm points to do what I want to do. In any case. Oh! The cutscene time. Ah, there's Nihilus! See, he's on our side. He's a good guy. Saren. Oh shit! Manuel wasn't kidding. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I'm Why aren't the subtitles on the bottom? Oh, shit. We're gonna go see if Nihilus is okay. Whoa! 
That's that ship we saw earlier in the uh, video. There it goes. Oh god! Ah, I'm being shot at. Heard something. Oh jeez. Uh, let's try using our sniper rifle. Ha! I got got no aim, 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 aim. Uh, yes. Uh, let's try shooting the uh, one an explosive barrel. Uh, bike. Nope. Uh, oh, someone else got him. Oh gosh, we got husks. Uh, pistol, pistol. Eh, die. Jason. Die. Eh. Pistol attack. Yeah. Gah. No, Kaden. No. Eh. Eh. Okay. Get up, Kaden. Kaden. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Kaden? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jenkins was pretty much doomed. Uh. Kaden's okay, though. I think, no, alright, cool. That's, uh, that's, uh, ooh, crate. Alright, cool. Let's open, open door. Flip pop. A, B, B. Alright, cool. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah. Uh. I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you were about <laughs> the attack. Pardon me. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Looks like we can uh, find some more survivors. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was... Felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. The Jeez, stuff? Like you got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than Oh, cool. Yeah, we have enough to do. See this blue option? That's if we have enough charm points to charm him. And then down here, it would be red. That'd be if we have enough renegade points. But we have enough paragon points. So let's get a little more out of him. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was going to sell it after this was over, but probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. So, cool. We all oh, cool, we got Stinger too. That's actually a really good pistol. And combat sensor. Combat sensor could be helpful. Might as well equip combat sensor. Uh so yeah, Stinger 2. Much better pistol, so I'm gonna take it. And then we can go to uh yeah, upgrades here. We can go combat sensor. Combat sensor two? Whoa, nice! And that'll help us uh Armor piercing round. Oh, cool, man. As we have the armor piercing rounds for fighting synthetics. Combat sensor, sometimes enemies will have, like, something that'll jam my radar, and that's really annoying. But with if we have a weapon with combat sensor, that uh, negates it. Alright, cool. We got more charm options, so we're going to take them. For now, I still don't see a point in, like, really massively leveling up. <laughs> massively leveling anything else up. Uh, I'm just going to wait until uh, I have more. 
Because I really, I like to have as much in charm as possible so that I don't miss any dialogue options as they come. Uh, Kaden, you still can't get any more throw, can you, buddy? All right, we'll wait on you. What about you, Ashley? No, no more assault rifling for now? Oh, wait, oh, wait. That's right, because we didn't level up. That's right, that's right. It was just that I got more Paragon points from that whole spiel. Cole! Cole, you told me you weren't hiding out anything else. Let's see what's in here. All right, cool. What do we get? Heavy armor, shotgun, and heavy armor. We can't, no one can wield heavy armor yet, so that's useless for now. Ashley can wield heavy armor later, but she's our only human soldier, so she'd be the only one. Uh, for now, I guess we go down here. Let's see what's around here. Something, something, I don't know. What's over here? I don't think there, oh, that's a cliff. Let's see, I, yeah, I've never, like, explored around this area before. I wonder if there's stuff I've missed. There's something over here. Containment cell. Yeah, that doesn't look anything too interesting. Kill. Cool. Let's go up. Oh, medical kit. Oh, shit. Nihilus. No. Nihilus. My friend. Something's moving over behind those crates. Oh, shit. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. Powell? What happened to that Turian? The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Well, we know that's a lie. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. <laughs> Called it! No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You dick! You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime with just a bunch of That's what of Jenkins farms. was saying. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Stop holding out on me! Jeez, what's up with these farmers? Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Oh yeah, I guess we should stop arguing. Take the cargo go. train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay, see ya, buddy. Um, oh, cool. High explosive grenades. Well, that's it for this episode, so we'll see you guys next time when we go and track down Saren and the beacon.